several places in my shop where I keep things dry and uh, let the wood dry out even further. This piece of birch was no exception and its spalting had turned into quite a bit of punky wood content. But I'm going to give it a go on the lathe, give it a turn and see uh, how it all comes out. Sometimes some of the worst pieces of wood, as we all know, can come out to be the star of the show. To be honest, I didn't expect this to be any issue or problems, but uh, it did give me a bit of curry. So watch this video towards the uh, middle um, and see how I tackle with the problems. It's around about here that a series of errors are made. First, the foot was to be made for a 5 inch chuck and uh, I undersized that so it uh, was too small for the chuck. Way out of that was to um, bring the foot down to the size of a smaller chuck. The wood was very very punky so the ball let loose and went flying across the shop which uh, at the time I didn't have the uh, footage recording so we missed out on that. My apologies. The only way out of this without losing any more content of the bowl was to uh, make up a sacrificial chuck and glue that on the bottom of the bowl. Naturally, the uh, sacrificial chuck wasn't positioned complete central of the bowl, so the outside turned in one dimension and the inside another. So we ended up with uh, adverse thicknesses of walls opposing each other. Um, instead of starting all over again, I left the walls as they were, so the internal um, turning of the bowl is smooth and, and stable. The outside caused it to be just a little bit thin on one side as opposed to the other side. Not as bad as it sounds, so I left it as it is, and it did turn out pretty well in the end. Total boats penetrating epoxy I use on the punkiness of the wood. It holds it uh, a little more stable. And you'll see in a few seconds I use disposable nylon haired brushes to apply it onto the piece. Uh, but first using uh, some thin CA and uh, some fixing uh, spray to make sure those hairs stay where they should be. This is the uh, penetrating epoxy going onto the bowl now. It doesn't soak up a great deal, but uh, one coat at least, if not two to three coats, depending on how uh, it, it uh, soaks into that punky wood. I did get a little um, notch in the rim, um, with the wood being so soft that it just uh, crumbled away. 
So a little bit of um, five minute epoxy on the rim there to uh, prepare, prepare that. Um, it's a very small notch, but um, we need to have it uh, looking pretty neat on the rim because that's uh, the first thing that uh, people's eyes look at when they look at a bowl like this. Then I left the bowl there for overnight drying with the epoxy and uh, in the following morning I give it a 240 grit sand all over given that the uh, outside of the bowl and inside is uh, a differential uh, spacing you can see that the bowl wobbles quite a bit so I can uh, use the drill for the sanding on the inside and then um, use a hand piece of sandpaper on the outside but that 240 grit allows the purchase of the final coat of tabletop epoxy to adhere to. My go-to resin is Let's Resin. Um, it's a, a, an excellent product, um, reasonably priced, and um, it does the job very, very well indeed. So one-to-one uh, -one mix ratio, just using the brush with the hairs fixed with the CA glue. Apply that to the outside and inside of the bowl, and um, then the uh, finish is uh, as you see it now. Cheers, guys.